Wish me luck. An ancient art colliding with today's cutting edge technology. We're gonna turn to ideas from origami in order to map things into things that a robot needs. Is changing our world. We are interested in the new way of making things. Boom. I'm on the hunt. It's a simple task. Pick out some paper for an upcoming origami lesson. Even though I don't know what I'll be making, I know I'll have to draw on creativity, logic, and perhaps a dose of innovation. For the origami artists, there are just so many options to choose from, color, size, and texture. And for the origami technologists, there are so many applications out there, all stemming from the art of folding. The universality of origami says that any 3D form can be folded from a sheet of paper. At its core, the art of origami is mathematical. Every crease creates a corresponding geometric shape. Make enough creases and you have something completely new. If we find a mathematical description that accurately models origami in some simple ways, we can use that math to analyze and to design much more complex origami, things that we couldn't design relying on our own tuition. For Tomohiro Tachi, a pioneer in the world of origami design, technology is key to harnessing the potential of this art. In 2008, the Tokyo-based professor created a computer program known as the Origamizer. The program is the realization of the underlying algorithm. The real innovation was figuring out the underlying algorithm, which is basically how to take any surface as a collection of triangles and create an origami pattern that folds in a way that conforms to that surface. But as the principles of origami have found a way into innovations across industries such as space and medical technology over the last decade, materials have moved well beyond paper. We've been building up the software systems to solve the design problem based on origami. If we want to use a sheet of paper to fold um, into product, well, you cannot really use the sheet of paper. You have to use different materials or well, maybe you have to disassemble the multiple parts. That's where his latest work, a program called Crane, comes in. Crane solves these uh, different problems that we want to solve when designing based on origami uh, to create uh, functionality. It's an interactive tool meant to address and solve the challenges facing anyone hoping to use origami as a design solution. It is a kind of common language between artists and um, scientists, scientists. So based on these origami, we can um, somehow interact with each, uh, each other and then find a common interest to collaborate. That spirit of collaboration led him to fellow University of Tokyo professor Koya Narumi. One of the challenges in a lot of the computational origami tools now is that it can create surfaces, it can create patterns that are so phenomenally hard to fold that uh, it could take a person a day or multiple days just to fold the shape and well beyond the capabilities of, uh, of an automated machine. Narumi and Tachi's solution comes in the form of a 4D printer one that prints materials with built-in creases that self-fold. So what we want to be able to produce a system in which the material itself knows how um, it 
needs to deform. So right after the print, the shape has an initial structure, but if you apply some stimuli to it, then it will change the shape dependently, time dependently, to another one. That is why we call this as a 4D print. While all the opportunities to apply this type of tech are still undiscovered. In recent years, uh, cell folding technique has been drawing a lot of attention for the sustainable fabrication. If you use a 3D printer, it will take 20 hours, for example, to make something. But if you use an inkjet 4D print, it will only take one hour to finish fabrication. So this technique will also reduce a lot of effort to prototype something. Tachi and Arumi have no doubt in its power to create for the greater good. In the future, maybe we can bring a pile of document or a pile of 4D printed sheet to space to explore the shape change as a robot, for example, or we can just distribute a lot of sheets to the places where we cannot have access to as a maybe disaster for, for the disaster. Currently, usual objects are made um, just for one function and then when it's used then it's basically uh, destroyed but if you can reuse reshape the same um, objects and then make it into a different function then you can re reuse the material and then um, continue using it so it helps this uh, circular economy with this uh, um, technology.